is making LEGO content worth it? And the short answer is yes. No. In all of the Q&A videos that I have either watched or read the comment section of, one question that comes up so frequently is, is it worth it? The answer really depends on what you're trying to get out of it. Is the answer A, to just enjoy yourself and make content for the sake of making content? Then in that scenario, yes. Is the answer B, I want to make money and become profitable and successful from it? If we take a look at category A, then by all means, go for it. Make whatever stop motion, review, battle army, building, mock, anything that comes to mind, do it. If the answer is B, well that's a deeper question. If your reason for doing it is to become famous and fabulously wealthy, then I would recommend a different route. And that's not me saying in order to become successful you can't do YouTube. You definitely can. There are paths you can follow that will see you to that route of success. I just wouldn't recommend doing Lego content. There are a handful of examples out there where you can look and say, well, they did it, why can't I? I'm gonna avoid saying that they just got lucky or they were in the right place at the right time. While luck is a pretty major factor on this platform, as it is with anything in life, there was a lot of work that went into it. A lot of the big channels that you really like, David, Ryan, Justin, and Jang, they were uploading for a very long time. Because they were doing something that was significantly less popular at any point in time from their uploading history in the past 10 years, it took them a lot longer to grow than other channels that don't focus on LEGO content. Moving away from those that just put the sheer amount of time and work into it, we have those, let's say, have a little bit more finesse about things. A few of the examples of these channels are the ASMR and stop motion channels. Stop motion channels can really, really take off, but they can also experience some really, really low lows. Most of their success doesn't really come from YouTube, it comes from deals that they find outside of the platform, or they're just doing it for the sake of doing it because they really enjoy it, and it's a lot of work for a little payoff because YouTube doesn't necessarily appreciate and support that content. ASMR channels are more of a recent oddity that have taken off in the last few years. Another channel that I would pseudo describe as YouTube-esque content would be something like Generic Stud. He's definitely following a formula that content creators outside of LEGO content has followed and seen a ton of success from it. While the content is deep LEGO, it's still formatted in a way where viewers outside of LEGO can come in and enjoy it. How many viewers that would be is to be seen, but the same can be said with all the other LEGO content creators, because there is a bit of a glass ceiling. And not just with LEGO content, but all sorts of varieties outside of it. Lego content, however, has a pretty low ceiling. You can see major success with hundreds of thousands, if not millions of subscribers, but it is not nearly as common as other topics on the platform. The exact reason on this can only be speculated on, but there are a few ideas and reasons that I can come up with that lead to this. Even though Lego is super popular and known to almost anyone worldwide, not a lot of people care about it. And I'm not saying people don't like Lego because there is a lot of fondness from all walks of life towards a brick. Most of Lego's audience, unsurprisingly, is not above the age of 18. A lot of kids aren't like us where they stay in the Lego. Most of the time they get out of it relatively young. And if an eight year old comes across a stop motion channel because they like the funny Lego man dance, that's fine, but they grow up out of Lego and then they grow up out of the content and then it's just an inactive subscriber. Perhaps that theory doesn't hold a whole bunch of water and it's just a few subscribers that become inactive over time. Maybe it's just not that interesting for people that aren't kids because they perceive it as a childish thing because it is a toy marketed for kids built for children. While I don't see any problems with adults buying the toy, I am very clearly an outlier. Like I was saying before, most kids get out of Lego before they're a teenager. Most teenagers get out of Lego before they're in high school, and the few high schoolers that still like Lego get rid of it when they go to college. Those very few adults at the end have gone through so many filters, most others got caught along the way. Some find their way back and become collectors again, but it's not that common. If adults aren't into the product, that means they're not watching content on the product and they're not long-term active viewers. I've known people that have grown out of it and they're just no longer around. If you're hoping to become one of the Just Two Goods or MNR productions of the LEGO content space, I would temper your expectations because there are probably 30 or less LEGO channels that have that sort of recognition. If you're doing a Just Make a Living, you might be able to pull that off, but it'll still be really difficult. I decided to record this video instead of doing something I already have pre-planned and structured out for a few reasons. For one, this is a topic that I've given thousands of hours of thought and consideration into. This is something that I've wanted to pursue for a very long time, knowing full well that it's a very unlikely situation that would work out in my favor. Despite that, I've gone after it anyways, even passing up other opportunities that make so much more sense and be so much more beneficial if I pursued them instead. All because I'm deeply infatuated with how the entire process works. And two, I have such a fear of failure, it has prevented me from doing so many things in my life. 
And just like anything else in life, fear has prevented me from making and recording a video. Usually in my case, the best thing to do is just turn on a camera and start recording, so that's what I did. I really don't want to discourage anyone from going out and trying to pursue whatever goals they have. They should be realistic about it, but also at the same time where people and screw reality just go for the gold. In the end, most if not all of what I just said doesn't really matter, it doesn't pertain to anyone. And if that's the case, well at least I got through and recorded a video by Wednesday.